What's up everybody, this is Barry at Titans of CNC. So our friends at JE Motorsports brought us this clutch basket housing and asked us if we could fix some problems for them, decrease the overall weight of this part, and make it more accessible for them to make adjustments to their clutch. So to give you guys a little bit of backstory, JE Motorsports has a four-wheeler that set a world record in its CC class going over 112 miles per hour. Within about three seconds, it's already going 100 miles per hour, and our goal here today is to help them to go even faster. <laughs> So looking at this part, you can see that it started off as a casting, and then they welded on several sheet metal parts. We're going to be making this assembly out of two solid pieces of billet, so it's going to be even stronger than the original design. So for the four holes in our stock prep op, we use Kenna Metal's TX drill. The TX drill is basically a drill combined with a reamer that gives you a great precision hole for locating features like diamond pins, or in the case of our fixture, Mighty Bite XYZ expansion pins. After our first operation, the beauty of the picture framing method and the XYZ expansion pins is that all we have to do is flip our stock over and everything's going to be located perfectly true to itself. This is a super easy process and I love it because the fixturing is super cheap. So we're using XYZ expansion pins from Mighty Bite and these things are absolutely incredible for holding your stock in place. So for this part, we're using a pretty awesome fixturing technique known as picture framing. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut everything that we can reach on the top side of this part in the first operation. Then for the second op, all we have to do is flip the part over onto this very same expansion pins we use in the first operation. And then we're gonna finish the part to where all we have to do is grab it and just pop it right out of the fixture and it's gonna be a complete finished part. So Travis got me some of the XYZ coordinates for the critical features of this part, and I imported those into SolidWorks, and that's where I started from. After talking to some of their engineers, I understood what was unnecessary on this part now and what was still required. Take a look at the top of this part, you can see that everything that we can machine has been machined, including the deburring of this outside profile. This is going to be very important in our second operation because this deburr path actually cuts into our tabs and makes the tab a lot thinner and easier to remove. So even though this part may not look like much right now, we're going to flip it over onto the same expansion pins we used in the first operation and then we're going to finish out the part. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the first operation video for this part. Stay tuned for the second op because it's something you're not going to want to miss. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again soon.